Hello folks, it's Ishi here again. Um uh, thought I will talk about a little modification that I've been making and trying out with my new pipes. Well, my old pipes with the new shank. So draft hole size. Um what I've been trying is as you all know I like filter pipe. Something about it just kind of appeals to me and a lot of people complain about it is you can't get a lot of the smoke through as normal straight no fil filter pipes like this. So I decided why not make the holes a little bit bigger. Some of them are easy to, easier to do, especially pipes like this. Straight with certain sizes. This one's modified as well. If, if you like to show carefully, you might see a little bit of notch there and then the top. It's from the drill bit that, that I was using. Um, I went out to Lowe's and got just a drill bit normal with um, basically and something to hold it while I'm drilling it I f I figured I haven't tried it so I'm not exactly sure but um, I didn't want it to use a drill to do it since the high torque and you'll if it get, you won't get stuck so it will just go through too fast and when that happens I thought you might create too much heat and bent the uh, stem so, with these, as you can tell, not much will fit through, so I didn't try it. But the other ones that I tried so far, this one does not use filter. This one is the one that uses a balsa filter. These. And um, it's working out really well. It it does make the air to come through a lot better. Draw gets it feels a lot fuller. I definitely do see why people like especially in this country like smoking without the filter. And for me, I use the filter, I think I talked about it before in my older videos, but it seems like I get I don't ever have that dry draw where it's just heat. So I like to use it, but it depends on the type of um, tobacco I'm smoking. To this day, I'm smoking the good old Larson Signature. Um, it's been my favorite for the past, I don't know how many, how many months now, I think three, four months now, I think. And I'm sticking with it. I have my cob pipe. And since I can't drill the hole bigger with this stem, I went out and I ended up buying a new stem. I actually cracked it, so I have to go out and buy a new one and see if I can modify it a little bit. And it did work. Um, just one thing is that medical filter is just... I don't want to say worst, but it's the hardest one to work with, and it has the worst draw out of all the filters. Um, it just probably halfway through the ball, it's gonna start to feel like it seriously feels like it's getting clogged. Um, I th think what it is is just that paper it uses and stuff gets to soak up so much moisture that it starts to get smaller and smaller. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hey, I don't know too much, but yeah, it's just, it doesn't have the best draw after a while through the filters. Um, Bolsa never has any problems. Um, same with the Big Ben filter. These really doesn't have problems either. Um, these I like the best. But the problem is, 
it's not easy to find in where I live in Middle Tennessee. And with these things I can find also is a lot easier to find and easier to store when you're traveling as well. I definitely think trying new pipes are a great idea. And if you're handy and like to modify things, Dremel, drill bits, and modifying it, it's a great idea. Um, I highly don't recommend like getting, you know, your grandfather's pipe or your father's tight, you know, pipe that he used to smoke or anything that kind of precious to you, but maybe get a state pipe in a good condition, which was this one here and try it out and sometimes when you talk to people at a tobacconist shop they might get interested and give you a pretty good discount um i go to a place called up uptowns smoke shop in nashville tennessee and they they're great people um i get a lot of great friendly help and you know that's the place that i started off i tried different stores but that's been very comfortable comfortable place for me to go and talk about any kind of questions I have and you know like the uh, pipe that I make I go out there and I ask them to kind of buff it because they have you know the professional grade buffing wax to stone so I get it polished once in a while going over there they don't charge me anything and it's you know they know what they're doing so yeah I I highly recommend trying new things out it it might be something that you do it and you might fail like I did with my uh, stem it kind of I tried it too hard and torqued it in there and it did bend and I have to get a new one and some pipes you can't get just a stem so some things that you know you're gonna you're gonna take a risk so maybe check out some forums and check it out or you can try it on your own and experience it yourself um, that's about it for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a good one and hope to post one sometime a lot sooner than I did with this one. Have a good one.